Hello Techies, welcome to AI Brahma YouTube channel. My name is Ganesh. In this video tutorial, we are learning about one of the hidden feature of A360 that is loop labels. If you are new to my channel, please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get first notification to you. In this video, we are discussing about what is exactly the loop labels and how it works in the real time and why this feature is till now hidden for some of the A360 developer. Everything we will discuss in one particular video. So don't skip this video till the end. You will get real time exposure about what is exactly the loop labels. So without wasting the time, we will directly go to Automation Anywhere A360 Workbench and we will see one of the real time scenario about loop labels. Before going to the loop labels, we have to understand what is exactly the loop and how it works, right? So if I want to type 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, then what I will do, I will take a loop action from the Automation Anywhere A360 and I will mention here iterator, iterator in the sense it's a for loop kind, right, in the technology. So now I will give as a 5 and I will create one counter, right, maybe I can take it as a num counter, num c. So now this counter value I will show in the message box, right. To show them, show in the message box, just I will type a num c and I will convert as dot to string. Now if I run the bot, definitely I will get a data from 1 to 5. First message box 1, 2, 3 like that, I will get a 5 different message box. Now I need to add one more condition that if the counter value is 3, then I need to continue that particular loop. See now I am getting 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, right? So loop is completed. This is exactly the loop, repetitive action with a condition, right? So now I will add another condition that if, okay, inside the loop, I'm using if condition and number condition, right? Here I will write a command that num c is equals to 3 means whenever the counter value is 3 then I need to continue okay loop continue what is continue it will just skip that particular iteration right so in the third iteration it will not show you the message box it will directly skip that right so what I will do so if it is equals to 3 my message box has to skip right else if it is not 3 then I am just taking a message box right so now if I run the bot what I will get it 1 2 4 5 right the 3 is a value that I will not get because I have added condition that if num c counter is equals to 3 that should skip right so now if you see 1 2 4 and 5 means 3 is skipped from my particular activity. So this is exactly the continue, right? So now I will add another loop to show my entire data twice. Example, I need to get a data as 1, 2, 4, 5. Again, 1, 2, 4, 5. Twice I need to get that message box, okay? For that, I will use another loop. And here I will mention twice because I need a two times, right? And this loop, means inner loop, whatever we will call it, or second loop, I'm just dragging inside the loop. This particular activity, we will call it as nested loop concept in the programming language, right? So now what I have, first loop inside that another loop, right? So inside the loop, I'm having five times iteration, outside a loop that I ha I'm having twice the iteration, right? So this you can call it as first loop or loop one this one you can call it as second loop or inner loop anything is fine now if i run the bot how many times i will get a bot message box maybe you can comment on the video also so now first second three is skipping as we are using continue and four and five Again, I'm getting 1, 2, 3 is skipping and 4 and 5. 
So basically, I am getting same data twice because I am using at the outer loop twice and I'm not having any condition. Now we will learn what is exactly the loop labels. Okay, now whenever I am using a continue inside the loop two, which loop it is skipping? Please comment on the video if you know about this concept. So if I use continue inside the loop two, then it will skip loop two activities, right? Not the loop one activities, but I need to skip a loop one activity if it is nums c equals to three, then how it works, right? For that particular purpose only, automation anywhere is introduced loop labels. How it works, we will see. Example, the first loop, okay? So here in the right hand side, you are getting one option called label optional, right? So that you have to mention as maybe loop one. I'm mentioning as L1 or loop one. Directly I will mention as loop one. Same way for the second loop also, I will give a label loop two, right? It makes sense, right? So loop one and loop two. I'm giving a label for loop. Now for the continue, I don't have any loop or I don't have any label yet, right? I didn't set. Now I will set first time loop two. See from the drop down, I'm taking a loop two and I'm saving. So now I, I will run the bot. Okay. So now how many message box I will get it? Yes, absolutely. I will get twice a three message box, right? So one, two, four, five, sorry, four message box twice. I will get it one, two, four, five. Again, one, two, four and five right simple one two four five one two four five please remember this now it's in the loop two means my continue is affecting for this particular loop two now i will convert or i will choose loop one in the continue now i will run the bot so basically how many uh, message box we got previously four into two right eight message box we got it now i'm choosing inside the loop two as a uh, loop one as a label in the continue right so now how many message box we will get we will see one two again it comes to the one and two so we are not getting four and five why that is a beauty of labeling in the loop so whenever you are choosing here loop one or a loop two it will work for that particular loop. So inst instead of calling this continue inside particular loop one, we are just calling anywhere in our code and we are labeling that particular loop name. So whenever you are choosing loop two, this continue will work for loop two. Okay. Whenever you are choosing a loop one in the label, this continue will means fifth line continue will work for loop one right so like this the looping concept will work in the labeling so same way we have a break also for the break what is the break break is a one if the condition satisfy it will come out from the loop right so if you are using that activity example break i'm using okay so first time i am using loop two as a break if the num counter is three then i need to come out from the loop right so just I will run it once and I will show you what is exactly it will happen. So first time it will show you one, two, <coughs> when it equals to three, it will come out from the loop two, not the loop one, right? See one, two, one, two, right? How many times we got a message box? Four times because it is breaking only the loop two at the time of num three equals to three. So now I will select loop one and i will run the bot now how many times we will get a message box only two times because when it equals to three the num c is equals to three it will come out from the basic first loop itself see one two our bot is completed so like this our loop labeling will work in the real time so many situations we can use this particular feature in our projects. I hope this 
फीचर इज न्यू फॉर यू गाइस इफ दिस वॉज अ न्यू फीचर फॉर यू प्लीज कमेंट ऑन द वीडियो यूर फीडबैक अबाउट द वीडियो एंड एवरीथिंग इट विल हेल्प मी टू grow my channel with a good content right and what is the next video you need like this concept hacks about automation anywhere or a360 or any rpa tool like a ui path view prism anything please comment on the video if you have any question feel free to join our whatsapp group i have already created technical support group in the whatsapp and you can Uh, like you can join that group and where, what are all the questions you have about the automation anywhere a360 or any rpa tool you can post in that you will get a lot of uh, help from the community of automation anywhere if you are new to my channel please subscribe to the channel and hit the bell icon to get the first notification to you and don't forget to comment in this video i am waiting for your comment and please share this video in into community of automation anywhere so they can also learn you will also learn so everyone will get benefit from this video thank you very much have a nice day happy learning